Hello YouTube, this is The Bucket coming at you today with my range review on the Siley Cat Shake and Wake Red Dot on my R7 Mako. I went ahead and I installed this Red Dot on the Mako last night, went ahead and bore sighted it uh, in the backyard and took it to the Goat Whisperers Ranch to go ahead and put it through its paces. And you know what? I ended up uh, ringing steel at 20 yards right out of the box. This uh, this red dot was really easy to pick up. It was very, very bright. Let's see if we can get it to show up on the camera. There she is. She picks up really, really bright. Um, the brightness set setting was really good. I could adjust it real simple with my finger. Very easy to um, adjust. It was really, really a good gun. Uh, held zero really, really well. All the tools that they uh, came with in the box were really, really nice. Let's see if we can show you what we shot on paper. Uh, boom, there she goes. That's a pretty good darn group for uh, right out of the box. I did need to adjust it. It was shooting a little bit low with the bore sighting, uh, but I held a really tight group. That was the first shot right out of the box, then held a really good two-inch circle without any problems. You know, if you're one of those people that you're you're thinking to yourself, hey, I've purchased a firearm, I want to get a red dot, but man, it's just $250 just isn't in the budget right now. This is a really good option. This is something that you could pick up. It's going to give you the tools that you need. You know, it's not going to have all the frills maybe uh, of, of the prettiness of the box and stuff. But you know what? For, for most of us, that just isn't a deal breaker. Uh, I think that, you know, as a budget option, this is something that people would be really happy to have. And um, I think you're really good. You know, the only downside that I saw with it is that you do have to uh, remove the red dot to change the battery. But with the shake and wake um, technology on it, I just don't think that's a deal breaker anymore. So uh, if you have any questions or concerns, or if you would like to uh, make a suggestion for another video, or maybe another red dot that you haven't seen on the channel yet, go ahead and put that in the comment right down below. And as always, you stay classy, YouTube. I learned a lesson. Never half-ass two things. Whole-ass one thing.